Hey guys, this is Simon from Fateless. Damn, this is going to be an absolute banger of a video. We're going to go through Prototype 2.0 for our first level build in Fateless. If you watch this video to the end, you're also going to see the first 3D render of a character that we've had built. Uh, it's actually going to be a common character, but don't fear, it's going to still be a cool looking chick. Uh, we're going to go through some different level designs. We're going to go through how we've got to the place we've got. And I've even been doing some training on Unity so I could take you on a flyby through our first level. You might remember, I actually showed you a video probably six weeks ago where we showed the first prototype. We showed some of what they called white boxing, which is almost like a, I don't know, almost, almost like a, a building block for what we've now got. We're moving up through the, through the gears now. It's still not a finished model. There's still a whole bunch of stuff which we're looking to refine, but it looks pretty damn sweet already. Before we get into it, I do want to call out a couple of ways that you can support Fateless if you want to. We do have a Patreon page where you can basically get yourself some exclusive merch from being patrons. We've actually got 267 people supporting right now, and we thank you all. I'll put links to this down below. We've also got just a straight merch store now uh, with some pretty damn sweet stuff. We've got these uh, like gaming blankets. Honestly, it's the most insanely cool uh, piece of merch I've ever received. So you can see someone sporting it here. Hoodies, tops, all that type of stuff. Again, I'll link that down below. And if you just want to get involved in the conversation, you can come to the Fateless Discord. We've got like nearly 6,000 people in here. They're dropping ideas. They're kind of like giving us feelers really for, you know, is this the right type of direction for things in our game? Or here's a great idea to put into your game. Or it might just be, we want to come and we want to play poker with you once a month. All of those things happen on our Discord, so come and get involved. Okay then, let's get into the juicy stuff. So let's go through the first level build. What were we thinking? You know, what was the direction that we wanted to take? And um, yeah, and this is kind of like some of the origin images. You know, we were kind of like looking at a reference from ArtStation, which was really cool. It's like, how do we build that into uh, a kind of vibe that we want to go for? We're almost thinking kind of almost underworldy or or certainly a kind of like dark environment, probably on the way to fight a boss encounter. So that's the type of vibe we were going for. And you can see a whole bunch of images here, which kind of like led the artistic direction. Uh, and you can actually see in our build, we've got the kind of like skull in the back. Uh, you've got this kind of like pathway that you walk through. I will take you on a flyby through this so you can kind of see it in detail, but you can see how the, the kind of like imagery is starting to come to life. And obviously with any of these levels that you build, you want things on the level that just kind of like catch your eye or make the level feel uh, epic, make make it feel like you're really in an environment. So we start to do some work around uh, statues that could go in, some kind of like symbolic uh, stone pieces. We wanted to kind of get a feel for, you know, how do we want the environment to look? How do we want the brickwork to look? Uh, you're going to see rocks later, which got better and better as the, the weeks have gone on. Um, and we kind of then moved it into, okay, do we want almost like gargoyle type statues when you get to the, the throne room you know, against the big bad, against the boss that you're going to be fighting? And they start to play around with just kind of like different design features at Magic Media. Then over the last few weeks, these had been iterated on. So you know, we started to improve them. We started to get uh, designs of, well, what about if some of the, the statues are almost defaced? And uh, I'll show you a couple of close-ups of those shortly. Uh, we started to look at uh, the actual skull look and it's like, well, can we make it almost feel more like it's part of the mountain rather than a sort of standalone thing, but still have that same sort of presence in the map. Um, some interesting kind of like, almost like these are some ancient ruins as part of our maps as well. And then it's like, how do they look? How, do, how are we going to kind of feature those in? But all of these different kind of li little bits of design, they don't necessarily all get into the final version, but it's just kind of like creative juices being, being kind of like pushed around really to to create the kind of final designs and then we were looking at you know if we want to light the environment it's like how much lighting do we want we want it to be quite a dark setting and and initially in unity you kind of get these kind of like i guess assets that you can kind of pull in and we want to say well how do we bring those to life in a more unique way we didn't end up going with these kind of like final designs but it was just a bit of a vibe around you know what direction do we want to take Actually, we might use these in a different level design. So let's take you in. This is kind of like, you know, here's a level. Obviously, when you're actually fighting in the level, you'd have your, your units, you know, probably something like a, an angle view like this. 
and you'd be fighting a wave. You then run onto the next section and then you'd be fighting another wave, you know, in, in the right type of, um, let's get you a better view. Yeah, the right type of angle. So you could kind of get a vibe of what that would look like. Give you the kind of full level in its, all its glory. Bit of a flyby. Here's some of the statues. This one's one that's been kind of like crumbling down. Still a lot of work to be done around the kind of stones around the outside, but just gives you a good feel for what we're looking at here. The level of detail that goes into some of these different assets that we pulled together. Really, really cool artwork, I think. And then you get into the like the, the cave mouth or, or I guess the skull's mouth as you kind of come through here. Different form of lighting, really cool kind of visual effects. We've got updated rocks coming in. I'm going to show you those in a minute. The rocks are actually very cool. And then you kind of get to this throne room where you're going to fight the boss. And here, as I say, we, we kind of got these more enhanced version statues. I can actually take you on a bit of a fly out here to really have a look at, at what this setting would feel like in the game environment. So loads of detail here, actually. There's like loads that's going on. And this is, as I say, I think they call it green boxing at this stage. So, uh, or is it gray boxing? It's not the final completed version, but we're kind of moving more and more in that direction uh, with every week, honestly. So we then work with the art team and they start, you know, we're starting to call out areas where we need to get enhancements or improvements, or they're basically sh sharing with us things which they're already looking to improve. And, you know, it's, it's almost like going through some of the finer details now. Let's make sure that the flooring feels more realistic. You have this battle between realism and polygon counting because you actually don't want it to run really really slow and sluggish on slightly older devices so you kind of have to have this play around quality while still keeping polygon counts lower uh, which is interesting in itself and yeah basically working on improving and, and just even a better feel for some of these assets that we've got on the level you know having a more of a grand feel as you go through that kind of like cave mouth uh, and in fact we were shown some new bricks today it's like right we're going to update some of the bricks with these which have been worked on we're going to update the kind of braziers with with this type of feel and yeah just just give it a bit of a a sexier feel in the map and then basically they then play around with lighting you know do we want it to feel more more dramatic to be going into the the kind of like cave mouth or are we comfortable as it is we have these discussions we have two art meetings a week with magic media where we basically work through these different type of conversations we then have the design team sort of start to work on some of the finer details now when you're playing these games you don't notice it at all okay you just don't i i played these games for ages and unfortunately the amount of work that goes into some of the what you might call you know just just like the bare bones of the level it's it's crazy you know this is going to be the upgraded versions of rocks on our level so at the moment you could kind of see I don't know, they've got this kind of textured feel. Doesn't quite feel realistic, I would say. Whereas the upgraded versions still are a fairly low poly count, but a much better visual. So that's gonna go into our next upgrade to the prototype real soon. So yeah, so as you can guess, I'm pretty psyched about what they've done so far with this one. And then we start looking at ideas for other levels. You know, what, what do we want? And bearing in mind, we've got this kind of gods and myths feel. Uh, we're trying to get locations which suit different mythologies that we're actually honing in on. Uh, and, and basically what we do is we, we get a bunch of concept uh, art come through and we're looking at, at different concepts for different locations and how we can kind of play those in. There's also some things which we're bringing which this genre has never done before, which I can't really talk about yet, but we need concept maps which kind of fit the things that we want to do to make it really interesting. And also, you want this kind of like nice variety of location. You don't just want to be in this kind of like dark, dingy worlds all the time. You want to actually go into different planes, almost like different realms. And that's that's something that we want to bring to life. And talking different realms, you know, we were kind of toying with, well, you know, different feel for like a hellish environment. Do we want it to be more, I guess, guess how you would expect it to look? Or do you want do we want it to be a bit more like warped and uh, visually impactful, you know, almost like a, a very different type of feel to what you've seen in other games. So whole bunch of decisions we've got to make, uh, but really cool ones. And yeah, the kind of like level building is in full flow. So before we close off the video, I did promise you that you would see a first character kind of like taking through to 3D. Uh, still with some refinement to do, but getting pretty damn close. 
So I thought I'd just take you through the, the way we're working with Magic Media and how this stuff works. We do have Dane, who is our, our kind of like art director from the Fateless side. If you did not already check out Dane's video, talking through his background, the way he works, you should check it out. It's actually super cool. Um, right, so here's an idea of, of when the concept art comes through and we're kind of like looking at different um, different ways that we could structure this type of character. We knew that it was going to be an archer. It's going to be a common type hero in our game. And we kind of like walk through various different concepts for the, for the character before it even goes into any sort of engine. This is all just kind of like 2D work. It then gets taken into a proxy mesh which is kind of like a, a 3D test, if you like. And we're looking at proportions. We're looking at the way it's going to be rigged. And at this stage, we're just kind of like, does it feel like it's going to fit what we originally thought from the, the concept work? After that, we start to get some proper iteration, some proper design put into it. Uh, and then it's it's like a to and fro of kind of like feedback session. You know, are there areas that we'd like to change? Do the materials feel right? Does the character feel epic enough? Are the proportions looking good? We then potentially, after those sort of conversations, it might go back to the, the team to be like, right, well, let's let's look at different ways to kind of like skin the same character, if you like. So, you know, do we want to try different textures? Do we want to try different colorings? Do we want to try um, slightly different builds? And eventually, once we get everything signed off and approved, it then gets baked down and put into a 3D model. So this is the same character from that concept now taken into 3D. And here we see our first common archer coming through. Obviously at this point, we haven't got the character in the kind of like Unity game mode. So we don't have the posing, which makes a massive difference actually. We don't have the posing, which, which kind of like brings that epic feel yet. So that will come really soon. And also we haven't added like things like the facial expressions and, and stuff like that. So she looks just proper sour at the moment, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I still think it's really cool. The detailing is, is really nice. And you start to now see that kind of like end-to-end -end process of a character in action. And I do have a nice kind of like, just a little play through here. As I say, she could do with a smile. But other than that, I'm really pleased with what we've got. And I'm really pleased with some of the detailing coming through for our character builds. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, the prototype 2.0 is in full flow and uh, we've got tons being done literally on a day-to-day -day basis with Magic Media. And actually from this moment on, we start to ramp up character design as well as level design because we're looking at the next kind of like 10 characters at a time. We've actually got quite a high level of engagement with the art team because we go through these kind of like two-week sprints now of production, which is very cool. Anyway, I've been Simon from Fateless. Have yourself a great week. I'll see you soon.